Ironically, Thursday was National Hot Dog Day, but all anyone could talk about was the previous day's beef, more specifically the beef between Meek Mill, you know Meek Mill, he raps all those songs that no one listens to, and Drake. No, 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 not this Drake, the real Drake. You know, Drake, who signed Lil Wayne's record label and basically forced Lil Wayne into an early retirement full of guitars and weird skateboarding tricks. You know, the Drake that when you're leaving a bar alone again at 3 a.m. and you're kind of staring out the side window, listening to his lyrics, and then text like your five ex-girlfriends just to talk, not even really for any reason. That Drake, the Drake who could walk and then got shot. and then was paralyzed, and then could walk again and rap? That Drake. It all started when Drake, who has a feature on Meek Mill's latest album, didn't tweet out anything about the album. And Meek Mill, like any 14-year-old, gro- I mean gangster rapper, ran to Twitter and said this. Stop comparing Drake to me too. He don't write his own raps. That's why he ain't tweet my album, because we found out. Meek Mill is basically saying that Drake has ghostwriters, which shouldn't be that big of a deal. Michael Jackson didn't write Thriller. The Bible has like a hundred ghostwriters. Meek Mill, answer me this question. If Drake didn't really write those songs, then who started from the bottom and where is he now? Who is really strung out on compliments and overdose on confidence? Who was staying at his mama's house and arguing every night? And who is in the six and where are the woes, Meek Mill? Where are the woes? Black Twitter has hailed this the biggest dark skin, light skin fight since Scar and Mufasa. Now, I don't know why Meek Mill chose Drake. I don't know what Drake could have possibly done to Meek Mill. I don't know if Drake had something that Meek Mill maybe wanted at the time or maybe has now and kind of looks back and wonders if Drake may have had anything to do with it. But that's beside the point. Meek Mill has bigger problems. My man, Norm Kelly. Who's Norm Kelly, you ask? Only the realest councilman of all time. Let's go to Twitter. Norm Bleepin' Kelly said to Meek Mill, you're no longer welcome in Toronto. After that, he said, Hey, American, didn't say don't come. Just puzzled why you diss a Canadian hero a week before coming to his city. Oh, Drake, Drake, Drake. That's how you know Drake is really as soft as everyone says he is. If you would have insulted Tupac or someone back in the day, you're probably getting drive by it or something like that. If you insult Drake... A city councilman will talk to you about it. Did Norm Kelly just sneak up and become the realist in the game? Norm Kelly seems like the kind of guy who keeps basketball shoes in his trunk just in case someone in the office wants to see the fadeaway. Norm Kelly is probably the guy at lunch that goes out into the parking lot, listens to old Eminem albums, and drinks some malt liquor. And if that's the case, Norm, we're going to be great friends because we have a lot in common. Luckily, this show is all about being fair, and we have the stats to compare both artists. They're both 28 years old, so it matches up pretty evenly. In the first 28 years of living, Drake has 24.2 million Twitter followers. He has sold 5 million albums, won 8 BET Awards, 10 BET Movie Awards, 1 Grammy, 5 Juno Awards, which I think are voted on by pregnant girls, 2 MTV Video Music Awards, 36 total wins with 170 total nominations. He has 12 number one singles. His net worth is $75 million. He has cameos on Ice Age 4, Anchorman 2, Saturday Night Live, and he's hosted the ESPYs. Let's see. Meek Mill was born in Philadelphia, which uh, I heard can be tough, especially the West part. Unfortunately, it seems like this war was over before it even started. Meek Mill is going to have to go back to doing what he was doing, and Drake will have to go back to doing what he was doing. It looks like in this situation, the Meek have inherited, well, nothing. Hey, hit records on my demo. Did y'all boys not get the memo? I do not stay at the Intercontinental. 